most of the time for us, what gets in the way of anything in our life is our health. I mean, you talk to people over 65, the whole conversation is just about medications. Oh, what are you on? I'm on estrogen. What medication are you on? I'm taking this medication. Have you found the side effects? Oh, this medication for this, you know, just whole conversation about that, right? And I know it's a cliche, right? But you know, when you study the centenary and cultures like high heaven, you talk to 100 year olds who are getting up and driving in the car and going for long walks in the mountains and taking care of their great, great, great grandchildren by themselves. It's a whole different distinction of aging. And it's what we actually all want underneath it all. If you peel away the cynicism, it's what we want. So in 1971, the National Cancer Review and the US Department of Agriculture found genetics determines two to three percent of total cancer risk. This is 1971, we knew this. Two to three percent of cancer risk, backed up by all health problems are diet related. This was the big research piece in the mid 70s, early mid 70s. 170 genes that change through eating less or eating better are the same genes that regulate your DNA repair. Your DNA repair, by the way, is what happens when you get cancer. The body immediately starts repairing it, removing it from the body. If your liver's working well, it'll push it into the bowel. If you've got enough fiber in the body, it will release it in a bowel motion. And the ideal bowel motions, of course, are three a day, not one a day, but three a day. I've already gone twice today. I'm looking forward to another one here shortly, maybe after this preso. Right? Because three a day, three meals in, three meals out. Three meals in, three meals out. That's the human colic gastric reflux. Most of us have gotten used to one. Why? Because we don't eat enough fiber.